Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today, we're going to do an American classic. That's going to be a chicken pot pie. Hey, and we're going to do it in the Dutch ovens. So Y'all stay tuned. Okay, yeah, uh, chicken pot pie, American classic. Everybody knows chicken pot pie yet. You know, I have never done it here on our channel. I don't know why. So today, we got everything ready, and we're going to do it in a Dutch oven. And just for fun, we're going to do it over there on a real wood fire. Already got our little old flat bottom um, Dutch oven going, browning off that chicken. And you know, it ain't got no legs. You ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dane. Yes, I know that. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using that old flat bottom Dutch oven to make our filling. And you don't really have to make the filling first because you really can't, there's not enough cook time to make, uh, to cook all the raw ingredients inside the pie crust and make that all turn out beautifully. So we're going to make the filling and make a nice gravy, then we're going to put it in the pie crust and then, you know, Get it in that number 10 Dutch oven and brown that thing off. It's going to be awesome. All right, so all we did with that chicken was we gave it a little uh, little season, some Seminole Swamp season, a little bit of thyme, and we lightly uh, dredged it with flour, brought over just a little bit of veg oil, and we're going to fry that off. It's our good old uh, antique Taiwan. Dutch oven there, going on some real wood. And over here, you know, we got a little stack of uh, pieces just to keep that fed and keep that up to heat. So, you know, if you really want to learn how to uh, cook on a real fire, try out this way. And uh, we started a little bit of cowboy lump just to get everything going. And after that, we won't need to put any more of that in there. We're just going to use some real oak there and feed that to the fire as we need it. And you see it's going along, it's going along perfect air right now. So uh, now that we've got that done, I'm gonna pour off all this extra crease, but I wanna leave them little bits drippings just get the oil off if we can leave the flour just a little bit of the oil a little too much we got that nice brown flour in there though we'll set that off to the side of our flame here a minute and let's go ahead and just stoke this back up I want to put another piece of piece of oak in there just out of the way pop back up to heat going in with some diced potatoes don't put in everything right now that's raw that's some uh, all these all these amounts are half cup or less there's a quarter cup fresh celery quarter cup fresh sweet onion that's your Miracois and then uh, about a half a cup of fresh green beans chopped so let's go ahead and get that going Get it up to a little bit of fire. I'll get everything wilting first. A little, maybe I'm picking up those pieces on the bottom of the of the, uh, the pot there, and. Uh, Possibly my chickens know that we're making chicken pot pie right now. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe. They may be fussing at me for eating their kind right now. Okay, it's been a few minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle my remaining about a tablespoon of flour that I had left from... Uh, Dredging the chicken. Make sure we 
get it all loose in there. Back in there. And then just kind of, kind of stir that into our veg and kind of keep them moving around a little bit. Just toast that flour a little bit. Got some beautiful fawn forming on the bottom. And that's what we want. We also want to get a little little cook on that little bit of flour we put in. That's going to help thicken the whole thing up. And it's going to be magic. So I know you guys are saying, where are the peas? Well, I'm not a big fan of those little green peas. It's in most, uh, you know, chicken pot pies. I pre-cooked some uh, fresh, those were fresh uh, black eyed peas with the snaps. Pre-cooked those for about 20 minutes because I knew they weren't going to have long enough to go in this dish. And that was uh, the green stuff. That was um, some, some parsley. You use cilantro. Um, whatever you got. Basil. That would be awesome too. Alright, we got a nice bun going in the bottom there. Time to come back in with our chicken. Put a piece of lemon foil on a the skillet there and make a little tray. Alright. Start getting that all nice and married up there. The next thing we got coming in is going to be our chicken stock. So, right, we got everything in there for our filling except our chicken stock. And I'm going to go easy with this. This is, uh, I got two cups made, but that don't mean I'm going to put all of it in there. Um, because I want this to get thick and I don't want it to be too soupy. You don't want to have uh, soup inside of your, your chicken pot pie. So we, we fired up some fire up under there, got a couple more pieces of wood up in there. And I'm going to add that chicken stock a little at a time because I really want that to, to be nice and thick that flour. We're also going, you know, most of these has a white cream gravy. We're also going to come in with some, a little bit of milk too, so let's not go crazy with that chicken stock right now. Alright, it's thickening it up pretty nice. Let's go in with a little milk, about maybe a quarter cup, and that's going to start giving you that kind of gravy you're probably used to seeing in your chicken pot pie a little more. That's probably, probably a half a cup total. That fire's going good down there. So I'll we'll bring that up to a bubble. We'll check it a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go a little bit more. You also use heavy cream here. That would be even more delicious. Just don't got it. All right. That's starting to look like some chicken pot pie, or pot pie filling right so there. So now that's up to simmer. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on it. This one fits okay. This was a very old gate mark lid that I bought with this Dutch oven. Not necessarily, it didn't come with that Dutch oven, but pretty historical. And it's uh, from Monterey. Nuevo, Nuevo Leon or someplace like that down in Mexico, which is a big uh, cast iron foundry area in Mexico. And uh, now that our fire is really getting going, I'm going to kind of shoot that to the side because I don't want it to burn up in there. We have our uh, fire control going on here to get it boiling, but now it's time to like spread it out a little bit. great thing about this little rack here you know if things start going going south on you you can just start pulling some, some of those small pieces of wood out and you can make it very easy to control your heat let's pull them out then most of them will go out and then we can get it back down to the simmer so we got one log over the middle now let's get it back more to the center Give that a few minutes to simmer and we'll be ready to start making our chicken pot pie in the Dutch oven. 
So while our filling is cooking over there, we want to give that enough time to cook the veg. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use a refrigerated pie crust, I know. I'll go ahead and leave a comment now about using Backwoods Gourmet using refrigerated pie crust. Pie crust. It's and it's falling apart on me so I'm going to have to roll it out here on the uh, table a little bit and try to patch it. Not that it's that important but yeah we want it to look good for you guys. So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to, they're still a little bit too cold right now to deal with. I'm going to give it a few minutes and we'll be back after this in a sec. Well, that didn't take long as hot as it is out here today for that to uh, warm up a little bit so I can handle it. I'm just going to kind of flop it down in the bottom. And it's still kind of ripping and doing kind of crazy crap. Got to try to push it up on the edges. It doesn't really matter. You're not really going to see this part of it when the whole dish is done. You know, this is all going to get buried in your filling. Did want to try to get it completely covered in the bottom, but that may not happen either. And that's the problem with these, they're pretty thin. So anyway, just the kind of the idea of it is get some kind of a coating on the bottom of the pan. And uh, I think we can accomplish that. The sides don't matter that much. If you got a KFC uh, chicken pot pie lately, you'll notice it don't even have a bottom, only a top. It's kind of a puff pastry. The last one I had didn't have hardly any filling in it. We're not going to have that problem here. We're not playing filling. All right. So just trying to smash it out one layer around the edges. Not super important, but I did uh, oil this cast iron with some of the oil that we use for frying the chicken um, right before we started this process all right so we got the other one warming up over here he's still pretty stiff too that one we're gonna want to try to keep it uh, in a little better shape because that's gonna be the one we're gonna see so I'm not gonna roll it any further because resisting rolling out so I'm gonna let that warm up a bit and that'll help it's been uh, about five or six, eight minutes or so. Went over here and checked on this, and it is beautifully nice and thick. I used this, uh, yeah, metal, metal tool to scrape that fond up off the bottom. And man, the smell from that. You see how nice and stiff that is now? That's what we want. So let's go ahead and pull this off the fire. cold but I'm gonna go ahead we're gonna bring over our filling that'd be good by itself right there I can guarantee you, I've already tried it gonna put in our filling on top of our crust that's in there get yeah, nice and full a nice hearty meal over there, all right. Spread it out real good. All right, now I'll try to give myself a little help with this spatch, big spatch. Now it's gotten too hot. I'm trying to stick to the table. And I'm sawing it all to pieces. And I'm just gonna try to plop it in there. Try to straighten it out as well as possible. Now it's hit that hot feeling, it's probably just gonna all go to hell in a handbasket. And it did.
So this is going to be more like a cooking at camp here than it is going to be a gourmet meal. At least we don't have to cut any slits in the top. We've got plenty of holes in there already. And it is like freaking 90 degrees out here right now. I'm going to go ahead and go around and just pull the edges down off the pot. That'll make it easier to get out later. And um get it into a slice. Alright. So last thing we want to do is put a little egg wash on the top so it'll brown up real nice. with the other uh, remaining sticks I had on there um, right on the top let them burn down a little bit so now we're gonna go ahead and set up for 10 inch Dutch oven bacon portion of this so I'll try not to get them all over the place I'm kind of making a little ring for the bottom and we need to cook that dough on the bottom so you know we're setting up that right now just gotta try to keep it clear in the middle keep it out to the edges setting up kind of per volume here all right let's grab our dutch oven and set it on there all right now the rest of these are going to go on top and as always and just like we do with charcoal you know these are the real wood coals we just burned they're gonna they're gonna burn fast and hot burn out pretty quick we're going to go ahead and get them all on there right out to that outside edge. Let's try to get the biggest ones toward the very outside. And then we'll fill in all the little baby ones in the middle. We'll give them some heat pretty fast and then they'll burn out. go uh, just about almost let it go too far so there's our chicken pot pie go ahead and pull that joker off of them coals we had that egg wash on the top and you know the, the crust was so wrinkly it puddled in some places so that's why you see these little darker spots I was really shooting for you know a nice crispy top and you know I'm thumping it right now and it's really nice and crispy so I think we achieved that part of it so let's let it set here for about 10 minutes or so it's going to be way way too hot to serve right now let's sit there about 10 minutes and we're going to serve it up I was going to go ahead and serve this up I'm going to go ahead and just cut it with my big spoon it is nice and firm for sure Way firmer than like KFC, KFC uh, soupy mess that they give you. All right, let's go ahead and bring in some of the bits there. Bottom is done just about perfectly too. So let's just go ahead and give it a little garnish, and that's just going to be some. Uh, some fresh scallions are out of the garden. There you go. That's some uh, backwoods gourmet chicken pot pie. This uh, recipe is much different from your like your standard old, you know chicken pot pie where everything on the inside is all ready here everything is nice and set okay it's a uh, it's really truly a pie well, let's give it a try mm. 
Wow, all those flavors come through. And that, that top crust, nice and crunchy and crisp. So if you like what we're doing, please smash that like button right down there. If you want to subscribe to our channel, you can do it right over there for another great Backwoods Gourmet video. It can be right over there. We'll see you next time.